Aravindan portrays the landscape of Kerala on our lips now with a vision of a poet. For him, nature is not just a beautiful backdrop. It becomes an active participant in the narrative. But above all, he has the gift of the artist for endowing his people with an inner life. I stand by my conviction. My total commitment is to cinema as a medium. I do not believe in shortcuts and cheap gimmicks. Subtlety is my style. I believe that is more acceptable and suited to our way of life, culture and aesthetics. I cannot overlook the importance of social values. I enjoy making movies that are in communion with nature. Eyes as deep as the waters of the ocean and voice very soft. He lent his personality to the films he produced. They may be right or wrong. One comes to know Aravindan through his thoughts, his pictures, his humming and through the lines he draws. Isn't that the greatest achievement of an artist? What comes to the mind first is a characteristic of his drawings. They are simple line drawings that were not yet in vogue in Kerala then. Today we have a tradition of line drawings, M.B. M. Bhaskaran, Kesius Panika, then myself, Nambudri, or some of those who popularized it among Malayali thinkers. Quite different from those, there is simplicity and a picturization which set Aravindan's drawings apart. Those were powerful contemporary portrayals. <laughs> already a known painter, cartoonist at that time, also got interested uh, in cinema, in the, the better kind of cinema which was being introduced in Kerala at that time. And it was very natural uh, that in course of time with the various associations, he also happened to take to filmmaking. His first film, Uttarayanam, was unique. I thought we had found a new genius. It was then that I decided to entrust my Kanchana Sita to Aravindan. I do not think that Sita should come in the film in the form of a woman. That is why she is interpreted in the form of nature, Prakriti. A man of few words, he was not withdrawn. He could convey a lot in very few words. Among Arvindan's pictures, it was Kanchana Sita which appealed to me the most. That Sri Kantan Nair's eloquent drama could be presented forcefully in so few words, proclaimed the power of visual art. What a good writer achieves with imaginative use of language. Cinema has to achieve with visual. It is here that one recognizes the limitations of technology and equipment. 
I saw Thump, I think in 1977 at a private screening and I was amazed. Amazed because it was so original, so fresh and yet so simple. It was a story about yesterday and today and the changing times. And I think the circus tent was symbolic of change. And I particularly remember the shots of the children, the great faces which he caught, which were very candid, which were very lovely. I think those images have stayed with me and always will. to show that apart from his supernatural image, he is also real. Through the mask he brings, I have related him to the animal forms as well. in my friendship was really built upon a certain kind of silence. Um, I know that sounds very funny when I say that, but I don't speak Malayalam and he didn't speak very much to me in English. What we used to do is to, we used to go for walks. We used to walk. I love walking and he also seemed to love walking. And whenever there was nothing to do, in between films and so on, we would just walk together silently without saying anything to each other, but together. Arvindan asked me, what is your script? We were making a film for an exhibition on women of India. What is my script? He looked into the mirror. He becomes woman. He is no more a man. This is my script. Becoming Sahaja, the Bhakti Kal. All over India, where men want to become undivided, no division between male and female, undivided. Sahaja. That was the script. That was the script. Of all 
the films I made, Estapani is still my favorite film. It is about a wanderer, a man without roots. Sometimes I wish I could be like him. I created poke wheel to be a visual expression, a manifestation of music, its many moods and limitations with an end and a past. The story is that of a sensitive young man slowly breaking up mentally. I had to cut the film according to the mood of the music and I tried to give it a structure. I do not use symbols in any of my films. I feel that symbols are not a good technique either for cinema or for any other art form. The dream Balu sees can be seen by anyone in Balu's state of mind. A few are dreams I had seen myself and the rest are that of my friends. You know, the first thing that comes to my mind uh, when I think of uh, Aravindan films uh, is that uh, effortless, elegant uh, simplicity which he was able to achieve. Uh, that has always uh, impressed me most. And there is one more thing uh, about uh, Aravindan films. Uh, to me, I mean, I, I this is a very personal thing. Uh, I think Arvindan was uh, making his films essentially for the Malayalis. The beauty of his films is that uh, they had a tremendous universality, but they were shown all over the world also. But he was making it for the Malayalis. He struck a rapport obviously between Smita Patel, who did Chidambaram so well, so beautifully. I mean, you take any of her scenes, whether she's in a garden or whether she's like a beggar outside a temple. Asmita went through a complete transformation there. I like the story of Chidambaram, written by C.V. Sri Raman. There were few specific reasons for making it into a film at that point of time. 
after spending 3 years without a producer i decided to produce this film as my own which meant i have to cut down the expenses to the minimum chidambaram has only 3 characters the village martupetti provides good backdrop to the film there were also many friends to help me smita patel had expressed her desire to act in one of my films much before this actor gobi was also willing to come when they learned that this was my own production many artists came forward no one acted in the film expecting any financial return they did it for me the man has got so much conflicts inside and put it only through his medium and not speak anything about it when we asked she says i felt like that the felt the feeling has no words so that she never wants to express it and makes another man to feel it the man of such capacity never expresses it outside but he puts everything in through the lens I had an opportunity of seeing his vastuha. There is one scene how he imagines the ship in the background, two persons sitting in the yard. I. understand what is mysterious about my films after all there are many mysteries in life too maybe there is something intriguing about the character in my earlier film estapan because estapan was created by me and probably or partially at least projects myself i would not still conceive that there are mysteries in life Oh uh-huh. 